Um, she is very disciplined, focused. She works well with others and um, she works very well under pressure. She has a full schedule this semester and um, she's done very well. Strong-willed. Strong-willed. Yeah, he's very, very strong. Strong willed. Yeah. And he's got it set in his mind, he ain't changing it. It's locked in. And one of her probably her biggest traits is she's very outgoing. She can talk to anybody at any time. And like her mom. Very headstrong. She puts her mind to something and she goes for it. I love her infectious, multi-octave laugh, her giggle. She cheers her friends on in a crowd. They know she's there just by her giggle that comes out during a play or during being in an audience somewhere. Um, I think all of that is a great strength for you, Sarah. Um, I would say Landry's strengths are his leadership. He's, he's got a very good personality, never shy, can talk to anyone. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a tender heart. That's yeah. a strength to me. She is way tougher than we have ever given her credit for. She, she's fought through some things um, personally and physically when she's sick yes. and just persevered mm -hmm. and fought through things and got them done, which I'm not sure I even I would have did yeah. at that age. For me, it's organization for Fletcher. Definitely. <laughs> unorganized just wherever his clothes come off they stay <laughs> a couple of things come to mind uh, she could always keep her room a little cleaner she could not start her homework at about 11 o'clock on Sunday night but in seriousness she does have a quiet strength about her she loves the Lord and I just want to encourage her to grow in using that strength and love for the Lord uh, to reach out to even more of her friends um, you know obviously spiritually uh, I think we all want to grow spiritually, and uh, that is our hope and prayer that he will grow spiritually. Uh, you know, he's grown up to be a good young man, fine young man, uh, but that is our biggest prayer that he will continue to grow spiritually. Patience. Yeah, sometimes she's a little <laughs> overbearing. She wants it now, which is back to the strong will thing, so it's kind of a give and take. Faith in herself, definitely, and also in God. Uh, she could be a little more patient and listening to other points of view. My favorite memory is when he took his first steps when he was only six months old. He just, uh, that was God's way of showing us that he was going to be okay. <laughs> Probably her favorite memory for me was, uh, I want to say she was about eight. We're playing upward basketball as a church and she's a little old short thing. And we're playing, she's playing with nine, ten year old girls. And there's, you know, they're playing. And there's a rebound. And these girls are all six, eight inches tall. She jumps up, gets it, pulls it back down, and acts like she's an NBA star, you know, doing all that. Cooking together, we have a blast in the kitchen. We, um, <laughs> she'll just say, let's cook something. And right. uh, she's like dessert. We'll get in the kitchen, make a mess, have fun, and have something great to eat. When he come home from the hospital when he was born, Probably more precious memories are the times when I came home uh, pretty, pretty beaten up from a long day and you would see that and you would go over to the coffee and make me a cup of coffee or go make a piece of toast. You'd do some kind of act to pick me up and I can't tell you, honey, how much that really spoke to my heart. We'd go swimming every day and she, I mean, she could survive in the water, sort of, but she couldn't swim. But I would take her down to the deep end of the pool and I would just tread water and I'd hold my hands out. And she wouldn't hesitate for a minute. She'd come charging, she'd trust me, and she would know that I was going to catch her and I'd be there for her. And um, kind of miss those days, you know, when you're trusted wholeheartedly. Never a moment's hesitation. Of course, when she was born and all the years of playing softball with Little League and high school. For me, I think she's, compared to Greer, she's just quirky. She's a quirky kid, I think. A lot of theater kids are, um, or a lot of performing arts kids are, but uh, I think that she has a natural attraction for uh, people that are uh, different or outcasted or 
colorful characters. Yes, yes. Sarah's unique in that she loves classical music, classical literature, Broadway tunes, um, musical theater. Uh, the Lord's given her a beautiful voice, and until about a year ago, we didn't even know that she could sing hardly at all. And now she's in competitions, she sang at church, she really feels her calling is musical theater, and we're hoping that the Lord can use that and her talents to reach out to other people that she'll be surrounded with. Fletcher will get it done. I mean, he, he, if you give him something to do and you say you're not going somewhere, he will get it done. The rest of them were nowhere near the trouble. <laughs> and not in a bad way, but back to the strong will. She's, she wants to do something, she wants to do it her way, and you know, she's not uh, accommodating sometimes. Um, he just, he gets along with people, and uh, he's real com conscientious of people, other people's feelings. Uh, and, you know, he's always talking to. He'll go up and say something to somebody, and he, you and I may may skip by. And uh, so, to me, that's unique. Is that he's he's conscious of other people's feelings. He's. They're both very smart, yeah. but he flies by the seat of his pants, gets everything done at last minute. Um, 1 Timothy 4.12, let no one look down on you because you are young, but set, all, set an example for, for the believers in your speech, conduct, love, faithfulness, and purity. Philippians 4.13. That's right. Yeah. Yes. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Guard your heart above all things, for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. One I like is Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33, and that's, that's our hope and prayer for Andrew. whatever she does just to do it with a hundred percent and love what she does and don't forget to call mom <laughs> when you go off to college come home every weekend that would be awesome <laughs> <laughs> come see your mama um i would say trust in the lord daily um, look to him for answers be strong in the church and keep his kids in church always keep god in your life Stay involved in church. Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated and keep your focus on the road ahead. And we love you very much. Well, Sarah, to you from mom and dad, I would hope that you could plug into a small group, college and career. Uh, I just wanted to tell you it's been such a blessing. You've kept us out of the uh, empty nest syndrome for many years. Uh, so proud of you, the way you love your brothers and sisters and even your two nephews and soon to be a new niece. Of course, your dad is your favorite. I'm, I'm fully aware of that. And when you leave the house someday after college or whenever, uh, we want you to know you've always got a room uh, in our house at any time. We're happy to let you go and we wanna see what the Lord's gonna have for you in the future. We love you, bunches and bunches. Stay in church. You'll be 700 miles away. Find a church, go to it. Have a relationship with God. We love you. We do.